I'm still in Elkhorn, Nebraska. Um, visited with my uncle a couple of days, and then I it rained here and I slipped going down the steps on the RV. So I've kind of been recuperating. I'm doing better, and I got some stuff that I need to go do. And I thought I'd take you along and sort of give you a tour of this RV park. So. Let's go look around. So I'm in the truck and I'll try and set this camera up so you can see. Maybe it'll sit on the dash. I've been having on. some trouble with my windows not wanting to go up and come back down. I don't know what their problem is. So I try not to mess with them too much. Alright. Alright, hope you can see. So we're pulling out of my RV spot. my neighbors back there. I had dinner with them last night. Really nice brother and sister. <clears throat> anyway, this place is really, really big. Really, really nice. Um, it has a huge lake over here. And black squirrels. See right there is the black squirrel. Came right there in the base of that tree. some guys last night walking around by the water with flashlights. They were um, gigging frogs so they could have frog legs. Really pretty place. It's, um, oops, sorry. They have um, a shower house, restrooms, and they're really nice. Um, you gotta pay quarters to take a shower, which that doesn't make much sense to me. You know, you pay to rent a spot, and then you gotta pay, or I had to pay extra because I don't have Nebraska plates, I have California plates. So they sucker punch me for that. Showers ought to be free. Just saying. Anywho, oh, I, did I miss the garbage cans? I sure did. Duh. Oh, there's another one. Up they there. have RV dump right up there. I don't think there's a trash can up there though. But they, you can dump and then you pull forward and um, there's potable water. I'll take you out towards the front. Apparently, there's like four or five different wings, so to speak, areas for this RV park. And I don't know what railroad it is, but there's a railroad, Southern Pacific, I don't know. They donated a bunch of their cabooses, Union Pacific, donated a bunch, I'll look through the front, a bunch of their cabooses to the state of Nebraska for them to use as like cottages for people. Yeah, they just donated them. That's what my uncle told me. We've got air conditioning. Looks like a picnic table on each deck. And then when they walk out of their caboose, they just cross the... Um, parking lot and then go up that hill and the lake is right there up that little walkway hill so over here um, is the office and they close this up at night so after 10 o'clock you can't get in here there's a guard on duty so it's a pretty safe place really pretty this is the day use area, apparently. Lake 5 trout lake regulations. Oh yeah, there was a lot of guys fishing the other day. Oh, that one back there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they do have the road blocked off. 
for that camp area. Horse, horse camp is what it's called. Maybe it got flooded out too. Oh, it looks like they've got bleachers. Oh, that's, oh, it's corrals, duh, for horses. That's pretty nice. Somebody out there fishing. Maybe not a camping area, maybe it's just fishing. The guy with two poles in the water. You know, the people next to me had their poles out yesterday and they caught um, a catfish, I believe. I don't know how big it was, but I think he said he threw it back. No parking either side of the street. Okay, no problem. Trout Lake, one way. Oh, we'll take a swing through here and look. Maybe a boat ramp. and a little pavilion type thing. I don't know if you can fish off of it or not. And the website, look how pretty that is. For the other place I noticed was exact, this is Lake 3. The website for the other place I'm staying after this was exact same website address as this one was. But I wasn't able to access any online data or whatever it's called. So I drove up to the office and uh, they helped me. It was nice. Gosh, this is pretty. Wow. Only my truck didn't have that bar right there. <laughs> anyway, these all have power. They all have, um, fire pits and then they've got of course you know the shower house and the restrooms showers aren't too bad you just walk into one little room and it's got a partition where the shower is and then seats and a couple of hooks on the other side that's them over there but yeah it's pretty that's for sure and there's my neighbors right there and there's me Looks like she's getting ready to go somewhere. She didn't ask my permission. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna put this down and get back in. <laughs>